So thank you for you watching my YouTube channel. So this is the this is one portion of me. This is another portion. This is another portion. So I would like to explain some things. So when I plow the land, so I leave it for the unwanted plant to grow for like three weeks. No, come near me so that they will be able to hear me. So I leave the unwanted plant to grow for like three weeks. Then I planted the maize, this particular portion. So after plant, after I planted it, I spray. This is glyphosate and this is 24D. So I spray this one to 50 mm. I put this one, I measure this one to 50 mm, while this one 50 mm. This is 24D and this is glyphosate. So after I planted it, let me say I planted it today, the following day I spray the whole portion with 250 mm of this one and 50 mm of 24D. I put it here. At spread mouth, this is the this is the mouth I'm using. This spread mouth, we have two type. There's other one. I'm going to use the two. This this one, this one. I use it for control spray. But this is the spread mouth. At two bar, I will I will I will show you the sample. I'm coming to I'm coming there. So I spray it. So the following day I planted the maize. But something happened for like seven days. Rain did not fall. So if you can look at the maize, if you look at it very well, you will see that the, the growth is not uniform. Why? Because the rain did not fall for like seven days. So after the rain, after the rain, rain fell. So it was then I noticed some are started to germinate. Why? Some are already germinate. So now it was on last month, twenty-seven. Yes, and now. Now I think today is twenty six. So yes, today is twenty six. So last week now I apply fertilizer. I apply fertilizer. I'm going to show I'm going to show you how I apply fertilizer. So then after I apply the fertilizer, I plant cassava. So no, they've already plant the whole dispersion from here you can see it, then go like this. We've already planted all this area. So you can see there it is this portion now. This part this portion now that they are the, the, the party is ongoing. So look at it here. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the plant. This is the this is the cassava. This is the cassava here. This is the cassava here. This is cassava here. Between the rows. So I didn't plant it in here on the corner. I'm planting it in between the maize. There's one here too. There's one here too. So after we planted the cassava, then the next thing is we spray everything because the cassava is here to germinate. And what can that do? I use to spray it. I use striker. And I use again 24D. This particular striker, it is selective systemic herbicide. This one. Because the cassava is here to germinate, it can't kill cassava because it is here to germinate. But this one, it will kill everything except me, this particular striker. And I'm using it as 10, 1, 10 mil, coupled with this one, 60 mil for 16 liters. She understand. So now this particular one, this particular one, if you if you wanted to use striker, you have to be smart about it. You have just you just have to make sure that the wood is still emerging, as in let me say maybe three weeks, so that it will be effective. Anything more than that, it will not be effective. And this is 240. The 240 cannot kill grass, it can only kill broad leaf. But striker, if grass is if grass is like maybe one or two weeks one or two weeks it will kill the grass it will it will kill everything except it will this striker will kill everything it will kill everything except miss even grass if the grass is like maybe one or two weeks it will still kill the grass so if you, if you see it now look at it and the, uh, look at 24d 
once you spray too for the after like an hour you'll be seeing you'll be seeing it falling down you'll be seeing the wood fall look at this look at this water leaf now look at this it's keeping it and this is like maybe one hour i spray it so now the next thing i'm going to show you now is 